Okay, hello, it is me, Evil Umber Rays, here to give you some bad news. And today we have a bunch of bad news, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the 13 event. Just a little bit, though. Not, not too terribly much. Because obviously the thing that everybody wants is tactics, right? I mean, who cares about FF13, right? We're going to talk some about uh, snow today. But uh, yeah, the Tactics event will be also coming along with Snow in the next part of the FF13 event for JP starting on Monday. So if you're wondering, like today is Thursday on the JP side, we are going to see uh, the news up tonight. And then we're going to see some news tomorrow uh, with all the banners. We're going to find out if there's a gold banner for each of the FF Tactics characters or how that's working. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to have a weekend, and then uh, after the weekend passes, then we're going to get all the, and I do mean all the news, all at once. So to start off, new chapter brings new things in here. You can see a bunch of old characters, so there's no spoilers here, I guess technically, but new story means more free resources, so good. Moving on, a new piece of equipment, and this is kind of interesting for a few different reasons. First of all, uh, it is not an FF-13 weapon, but it is very clearly a new fist-based weapon, which is meant to be for snow. Camera was a little crooked there, so I wanted to fix it. But yeah, uh, the Tiger Claw is not a FF-13 weapon here. We are very much looking at just a votive weapon. And, you know, I, I have a you know, a strong sensation that it's going to be a really good weapon for Snow, uh, because it's coming out around the same time as him, and yeah, I think that's pretty straightforward. I am expecting it to be potentially a fairly offensive weapon, uh, and that's probably to do with what we're about to see next. Uh, no, not next. Uh, next, next. So next up, Water Selection Quest is getting expanded. And the best selection quest character, don't at me, is getting uh, a upgrade uh, with a weapon. I'm very curious to see how strong this weapon is. I think Ray Chest was already really good. Lots of people do use her who have finished her. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. I hope that this is going to be a good piece of equipment for her. Because uh, they usually are. Outside of that, not so much. And here is the new icy, tanky, sprawly boy right here. Here is Snow with his primary job being a relentless hero or something like that. A brawler and ninja. It should be an interesting combination for this character. I think he's going to be probably a top tier tank. We talked about it in the past about what you're essentially looking at here. So I'm not going to go over the skills because not super important and we're not seeing anything really all that new here and uh, we'll talk about the ff13 with the tactics angle coming up but uh, moving on uh, here is his master ability so standard ice base party stuff but you look at the he's getting an hp up by five percent and a hate up by five now hate up by five is not really impressive and neither is hp up by five percent but depends on what his stats are, right? Like his stats could just be insanely high. Uh, he could have a ton of HP, he could have a ton of defense, and more than likely, as a tank based unit, he'll have hate in his kit. I mean, we'll get the full review on Monday once he's out. Bismarck, please, if you can let us uh, update the data quickly, much appreciated, but I know you're busy sometimes. so. He, the two things that we're looking at here is I'm assuming based on the numbers that we're getting here that he's going to have a naturally extremely high HP. So 5% is probably being very conservative. And as for hate, um, I, I just assume that there'll be more hate in his kit because I don't think they're dumb enough to do that again. Yeah, look forward to be proven wrong. Next up is the snow vision card. And this vision card is is serious business 70 cost vision card individual unit is getting hp up as well as uh, single target resistance now obviously very good for snow and uh, that 
massive HP boost on there. Again, working with that master ability and probably his natural high HP, I assume he'll just be hitting 13k HP. It's kind of my expectation. But the this is a first for vision card. So it is a ice space vision card. Maxing it up to level will give you wind resistance. It has ice ability attack up. And last but not least, the very first vision card in existence, at least on the JP side, unless there's something I've forgotten about on global, is a defense penetration card. Now, ice has a lot of strong, uh, like, physical vision cards um, for dealing damage. You look at the Laswell Shiva card, you look at... Um, uh, the new Eliza card, which is good for shooting and ranged attacks. And you look at just the Odin card, right? And the Chaos Odin card. That plus this is really painting the picture of Ice just being an incredibly physical element. And either through Agrius or Snow, I foresee just getting a really strong defensive option for Ice to finally protect really well against offensive units. So, yeah. Uh, this vision card, I I don't know if snow is mandatory, but I'm really leaning in on this vision card being mandatory. Because there's a good chance that Agrius will be a kind of, you know, decent physical tank and better magical tank. And have some really nice status effects, which will make her a very interesting comparison for the first day that, the, that uh, this update is live. To trying to figure out which is better, uh, Agrius or snow and which one is really worth your resources and everything like that. But this vision card seems rather important. And of course, it depends on the numbers. You could be looking at 40% defense penetration, and we could look, be looking at higher. But I do know this right now. Eliza and, for instance, Aranea run, you know, I think with, you know, certain equipment or considerations and everything like that, Roughly about 40% defense penetration, and they already hit incredibly hard. So if this card is 40% or higher, it, or heck, even 20%, I think that's enough to make this vision card a strong... Uh, you probably want this vision card. But again, still early days. We need to see the numbers. But this vision card has definitely gone up on the probably you need to get it thing. Other than that, uh, just more stuff here to do with, you know, getting uh, character shards and everything like that. Interestingly, here we have a little bit of a metal exchange, maybe, but uh, we'll we'll check out all of that next week when it comes out. Next up, we have the tactics deluge of information. If you didn't know, Ramza, Orlando, Agrius, and uh, Delita are all coming back to the game, along with Mistadio and Gafgarian. Now, Gafgarian is confirmed to be a login-based character, and it does look like the Delita Vision card is also a login bonus. Now, interestingly, it looks like there's in the exchange shop you'll be able to exchange for a certain amount of the character vision shards, although I imagine it's probably just going to be 40, probably in max. Uh, as for, it looks like they will be returning with pities. All of the characters will be returning with pities, but if I remember seeing correctly, uh, I think that uh, Orlando and Ramza and Agrius and Delita uh, are split down the middle, so just like they were first time. Rams and Orlando are going to be on one pity metal type, whereas uh, Agrius and Delita will be on another pity type. Now, I only say that because it is a little weird if I read right here correctly. This is the summon metal A's, and this is the summon metal B's, and as you can see here, Delita and Agrius. But if you look up here, there's only Orlando and no Rams. I don't know if that's about anything. I don't remember reading anything specifically, but it's uh, interesting to say the least, uh, mainly because I wonder if they're doing something with Ramza in terms of logins. Uh, stay tuned for that, but uh, don't get your hopes up or anything. Especially if you're interested in Mustadio. I think Mustadio will just be a 
tough to pull MR character, probably, because how it works sometimes. And other than that, uh, Chocobo will also get, be getting a three star awakening. Definitely need to think about uh, that Chocobo vision card. Jesper will be in, will needs to be seen how good it is after its upgrade. It is getting paralyzed resistance, which could be useful in certain spots for sure. And the other thing is that uh, the vision card though for the red Chocobo, which at the time that FF uh, tactics collaboration part two came out we had no clue about like maxing things I, do, I like it didn't exist until later it has dark killer on it so for the light elemental characters who are looking to get a edge up on the strong dark elemental characters might be a good vision card to max uh, while the tactics event is around uh, speaking of which here we have uh, the tactics event coming back with um, part one and part two um, shards for both. As you can see, you can get Gafgarian and his shards. You can get this weapon. You can get upgrade it. You can get this. You can upgrade that. I assume that both of these will have their six star. Although, if I remember correctly, I didn't see anything in particular about a six star mention yet. So it could come a little bit later in the news. And Deep Dungeon will also be coming back. Once again, it does make mention of Agrius' sword. There's the first crash. Uh, which you are able to obtain, as well as a multi pole ticket. But for people, it doesn't overly say uh, that it, whether it will be available for players who are already done it, or at least it's kind of vague. So, might come back with a refresh, but probably not as that's the way the game has kind of been oh look we're back in the game isn't that amazing oh look at that it didn't even i didn't even notice that i read it all sorry but yeah deep dungeon coming back is coming back with the same 10 floors uh is not looking to have any additional content so basically for the tactics event just kind of expect it to have nothing really overly that new and that it's just a chance to i mean it's really about just getting the characters their upgrades but agrius ramza delita and uh orlando will all be getting their uh, their exs and their master village twos and it doesn't look like we're going to get too much information yet there is a small live stream tomorrow in the evening which has said that they're going to have some details for some stuff but exactly what that inc would incur, I have no idea. So keep an ear out, uh, and if nothing else, by Monday, we should have massive previews of everything that is coming in the event, as well as Snow and Snow's vision card details. So yeah, that's all for this video, I think, uh, except for the bonus FF13 part, which is to do with lightnings, weapon because i have been farming all week and uh, for people who don't know this is the uh, crafting weapon it comes with some bonuses for lightning it's generally overall pretty strong because lightning is overall pretty strong but there does exist another skywalker and here it is this is the other version of lightning's weapon it is mostly the same as you can see it does have some slightly different stuff it is a critical base weapon and it has a much or fairly lower attack here but if you look down here it has both machine and undead killer and aim on it which i assume is going to be really useful in certain maps in the future but for now uh scoring this weapon if you don't know how this works it goes with the new FF13 map, and it could be continuing with future upgrades. We'll see if it's there with the Taiga Claws when it comes out. But in the level 80 version, there's essentially a five-star drop on here. And uh, for people who are global who are curious about how much farming this takes, I know people who have gotten it off of multi at this point. So you can get it off multiplayer. You can get it uh, just farming on your own. You can get it in one single go if you're incredibly lucky and it's far more miserable for everyone else. For me, it took roughly about two to 250 
recipes uh, of the original recipes to get this thing to drop. Uh, that's kind of how a lot of people are measuring. I mean, some people are measuring it on, on the number of times it takes. So if I just head over quickly off screen. Uh, I believe Altima has been keeping track. Not on that page, though. Uh, Altima has been keeping track of bo people voting on how many times it takes. Some are saying it's uh, 10 to 50. Some are saying 100 to 300. Some are saying 500 to 1,000. And some people are saying it just doesn't drop. So they've done a couple of tests and uh, found about 275 to 207 seems to be roughly the average range. I, again, I was not measuring by the number of times it took, just by the number of recipes I was getting. So by the time I hit roughly about 230, 240-ish, because I did build um, the five-star version of the regular weapon, I did get this to drop, but for global leaders who are wondering about what the drop rates are for this, not super fantastic. Anyway, so who are you hoping for? Are you excited for Snow, Snow's vision card, or any of the tactics characters? Personally, at the end of this video, I'll tell you right now, I think Mustadio is going to be the best, and maybe I'll elaborate more on that in the future. See ya.